Hello everyone, I am from Auxilium Convent School, New Chantra and today I am going to experiment is to prepare 50 ml of standard solution of N by 10 or, or M by 20 oxalic acid taking pure crystalline oxalic acid so let me start so first of all we have to take oxalic acid and put it in the meter so, so, so first we have to on it so as you can see the reading went to zero then we have to uh, add this paper slowly it. as you can see the weight has been increased so first we have to tarry it so when the paper weight becomes zero then we have to put the oxalic acid in an amount of 0 0.63 so as you can see it is to add more So as you can see we have can take an average of 0 0.63 or 64 so now we have to take this thing and we have to put in a conical flask so i'll put it in the conical flask and my friend gurmeet will slowly put water in it. so we need add water in it slowly first of all we have to add a little amount of water as you, as you can see and now my friend Gumit will shake it shake until the solution mixed with the water and remember whenever you do any experiment please close the the solution or like in here we have used oxalic acid so we have to close the cap so as you can see the solution is prepared and now we have to add the amount of water until the water reaches this line as you can see there is a line so first of all we need to add a little amount of water make sure you add water slowly okay so as you can see it reached to an amount where the line is near so now we have to use dropper now someone will add drop of water with the user paper Okay, as you can see, it reached to the line. So now the solution is prepared of oxalic acid. So now the solution is ready of oxalic acid. Now we have to pour this oxalic acid in this beaker, in this beaker. So we will use this thing. It is called pipette, which is used to pour things like here you can see the measurement. So first we have to start from it. Like I'll show you how to do it. So my friend can do it. Okay. So now you can see we have to suck in here and so when it will reach here it, it will become 100 ml then we have to pour it here and this thing we have to do twice. So as you can see he is pouring it now as it reach the solution reached to the point now we will add this thing in this flask we will release the hand finger we will release the finger the solution will enter the flask so we have to do this twice so i will show you how it looks after make sure after doing this you don't throw it because we have to do this process thrice so when we will do this project thrice then we have we can take an average which will be the answer so we will keep this inside now we will burn the candle so as you can see we have to heat it so now, now slowly we have to shrink and heat it so now we will heat the solution for 2 minutes so slowly we have to shrink the solution and heat it we have burnt it till 2 to 3 minutes. Now we are in this position. We will keep it in a side. Now we have to add 3 drops of phenolphthalein. As you can see, we will drop 3 drops of phenolphthalein in this solution. So now we will add 3 drops of phenolphthalein. So make sure whenever you open this 
type of solution you keep your nose at a distance or face at a distance because the smell is so hard and it can be effective so now we will open this and we will add three drops of mercury one two three as you can see we have added three drops of mercury so as the solution is prepared so we will keep it aside and now we will use sodium hydroxide pellets so now we will add this in this and we will measure it till 2.65 grams so first of all we will on it again we will do the same process so as the weight comes we have to do do tally and now we will open it with the use of this we will again add the pellet here slowly we have to add all this okay so as you can see we have again added like 1 gram extra nothing happens if like this comes so we will take this and we will keep and now what we will do now we will add this pellets in this beaker so as you can see slowly we will add all the pellets So as you can see, we have added all the pellets in this big flask. So now, with the use of this funnel, we will pour some amount of water. So first of all, we will put this funnel inside the. Now we will add some water. With the help of this, we will not. We will add the water slowly. So as you can see, we have added a little amount of water. Now, first we will shake this solution. So, as you can see, my friend will pour water to it. Now, with the help of dropper, we will add to the maximum amount. So, now we will pour this all solution in this beaker. So, first of all, we will add this here, and now we will slowly. Pour all the solution here. So now, as you can see, the solution is poured into this beaker. So now we will do the next step, where we will use this type of pendulum stick and we will add this bullet in it like this. The bullet holds the bullet, and now we have to. do that uh, first we have to okay we will keep this aside now first we have we will <coughs> use this one and add it here tight so the water will not go down so first we will adjust the size so as you can see the size is adjusted now we will pour this solution in it and we will pour till this zero mark make sure the water reaches to the zero slowly we will pour it so as you can see everything is set up and we we have reached the water till the mark zero so now we will simply i'm sorry So now we will simply on the uh, we will open this tap and we will add little amount of solution in this uh, until the solution become totally pinkish. So now we will show you the initial digging, which means from where we will we are starting the process. Like the initial digging in first step is zero, and final digging means uh, the water the amount of solution used when the solution becomes like pink and after that we have to minus the amount and the answer will come 
so now we will add a little amount so first of all we have added a little amount and now we have to take out it and we have to shrink it the pink color is disappeared again we have to add a little amount and again we have to shrink it again we have as you can see the color is being disappeared after a few times as you can see until it become pink we have to do the same process so we will do that as you can see the solution is now uh, in the color of light pink so we will show you that so now we will see the how much amount of solution is used so here you can see it has a detector amount of 10 so the amount of water is used is 10 ml so now you can see the final reading which has came 10 now we will minus this the answer will come 10 ml so this is the answer we have done this experiment three times and the answer came 10 ml so as you can see the answer came 10 ml so now we came to the end of our experiment so i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure you subscribe the channel and click the bell icon we will make further videos like this which will be more interesting thank you